Hi, this is Max with phoenixhomes.com and scottsdalehomes.com and I would like to demonstrate to you the upcoming 1.0 beta version of the FlexIDX plugin for WordPress. Um, as you can see, I'm on one of our scottsdalehomes.com websites and uh, uh, we utilize a quick home search widget in one of our sidebars here and it's pretty standard. Uh, let's go to the options page of the plugin. Now, let me just tell you how the plugin works. FlexIDX provides us with the standard uh, search URL, we, and this, this is where we enter it. And this URL, when we go there, it, it returns all searches within the area. Additional, additional criteria that the plugin provides, like the cities, property type, minimum maximum prices, bedrooms and bathrooms. All those criteria is added to the end of this URL and that's how results being filtered out. Uh, we added custom searches. So basically these custom searches allow us to substitute this base URL with a custom one. For example, let's say I would like to provide custom searches for master plant communities. So each of these URLs represents its own community and those communities could be defined by polygons or any kind of in any kind of search way that you can come up with um, so basically right now I have all properties within McDowell Mountain Range or all properties within DC Range or Boulders we still can add criteria to the end of these URLs like uh, property type bedrooms bathrooms and price ranges uh, but these are very specific searches, so it allows us to create widgets that are specific to master plan communities or sales conditions like short sales and foreclosures. Uh, there is a specific syntax how to enter these parameters. For example, hashtag and label. That's a label, uh, I mean the text here, it's a label for the field, just like in this example. And then we, on the next line, it's a label space hyphen space and if I expand this field you can see all these values uh, separate on each line and then we get have after a space hyphen space we have URL so that's going to be the value of the field this is just the label of the item like here name of the search one which is this one and the value of the search is going to be the URL let me go into the uh, widgets section uh, we have a widget called FlexIDX Custom Search and it gives us two lists. One list of all the available fields and custom field over here, it represents our custom searches. We created two custom fields, one field for master plan communities and one field for sales conditions. Remember master plan communities we had uh, McDowell Mount Range, Boulders and DC Range and sales conditions closures and short sales. So let's say we want a widget for master plan communities. We can turn off the cities because it just doesn't make sense anymore. We narrow down our search to communities. Uh, bedrooms, bathrooms I can avoid as well. Uh, and we can organize our fields just by dragging them up and down. And I want to put it let's say below the property tab. I save. Oh by the way, here below you can uh, define on which pages the uh, widget should appear so it doesn't appear on all the pages let's say I, was, I selected here a page content type and slug foreclosure so it appears on the, on the foreclosures page now if I go to the foreclosures page and scroll to the bottom that's where my widget is you can see it's a little bit different this widget is default has more values and this is our custom it has the property types because I left that field and our master plan communities. So if I select one of this, remember each of these communities have their own custom search URL. And I click search and you can see I have title of this search McDowell Mount Range and it returned 87 properties. Uh, that's on the new features. As far as the improvements, you can install the plugin and take a look at it. We added uh, minimum price threshold, so uh, you can select no price, no minimum price, or you can define what the minimum price should be, and a few other minor improvements.